Your case is coming up for trial. Why will the defense attorney accept a trial subpoena on behalf of his doctor rather than having us serve the doctor with a trial subpoena? Would you like to learn the answer? Come join me as I share with you this great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Ojinski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law here in the state of New York. So now, as your case is coming up for trial, we must now send out trial subpoenas. We want to compel different witnesses to come into court and testify. We want to compel hospitals and doctors to now submit your records, your medical records, into court so that now we can use them as evidence. Now, in order to do that, in order to take a subpoena and then deliver it to the people that you have sued, the people, the witnesses that we need to bring in, we actually have to take that subpoena, which is a document that compels somebody to come into court, and now we have to use somebody called a process server, which is somebody who delivers these subpoenas to the various witnesses that you want to come into court. And they have to attach a check, which is for travel expenses, to then come into court at a particular date at a particular time. Now, why is it that the defense attorneys will often turn around and say, listen, we will accept service on behalf of the doctor at the time of trial? Now, what does that mean? It means instead of us having to go to the doctor's office, disrupt his office, and now try and give him this subpoena to compel him to come into court, instead, what we can do is we can now mail that subpoena with the check to the doctor's attorney. And now the doctor's attorney will then get in touch with the doctor, let him know he's got to come into court on a particular date and time. It's a convenience issue. But it happens over and over again with really smart defense attorneys who don't want to inconvenience the doctor and disrupt their daily lives and their daily practice. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you to show you the details of some of the things that go on as your case progresses to trial. You know, I realize you're watching this because you likely have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter happened here in New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487 8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.